Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and uh, lunchtime for us here. How are you guys doing? I almost feel like I was going to like, I should do like, my fellow New Zealanders, I'm about to announce the launch of Incredible Number no. 1 on Indiegogo with three new covers that hasn't been released before as covers. And we're looking to do uh, something very different with this launch compared to what we did with the other launch for um, Kickstarter. We're going to be changing a bit of interiors. So it looks new. Uh, so it's not the same. So it's an option is given to where uh, we're not going to be, um, you know, giving you the same old, same old. There are, uh, you know, the art itself is going to be the same um, that we have already created. And this is the artwork here. So I want to show you guys. Um, it's all finished, right? All that because we've already launched this previously on Kickstarter. But, um, you know, we, um, I realized like last night I was putting out the digital, um, the Kickstarter digital, not this new um, um, comic book version, this Indiegogo version of this book. And I realized that we not many people know about this awesome character that I've created, right, that we've worked on uh, for several years trying to get this to come you know come to fruition as a number one comic book so as you can see we have um you know i'm going to launch it with a brand new cover um this is a cover by james um d hill and we we did this as an option uh throughout um to our american publisher uh, for, through their kickstarter um uh, page as a um it's a A3 size poster, but not as a cover. And I love this cover so much. I, um, you know, I did the flats on it, and then I had um, Higo Quena, who was uh, who was our, um, yeah, who was the um, colorist on this comic book, as you can see here. He, uh, you know, he did the um, final colors on that, like the tones and stuff, as you can see. And the other thing is, uh, with this pre-launch, we're putting the big number one on there on the cover there as well as you know um later on you know we're going to be changing some of the things that we had that offered for kickstarter that we are going to change here so like you know we get to um you know this is a new new release it's a new printing as such of this um, cover and so we're also going to be offering three other covers i have some um cover work that was done that I showed as like promotional pieces, but we didn't actually do them as covers. So we're going to be putting out three covers, and um, so one print, and uh, oh, sorry, two print, and maybe look at a uh, a special cover, maybe like a chrome or um, or foil, depending on the cost, right? So every time you kind of like um, put out a comic book, every time you do a different um, version um, variation on it there's a new cost to it. So I'm trying to figure out with this one because I'm going to be doing it on my own that I can, um, you know, without, without Planche Comics page on Indiegogo, that whatever we offer here, you know, it's gonna it's viable financially for us to be able to do that. So there's not like huge cost to so many different things. So, um, you know, and also looking at, you know, changing the pages that we had that offered um, other options to like um, backers over at Kickstarter that is, you know, that's going to be different to here. So we got basically um, trying to figure out whether we do a, um, you know, a 30, it'll be a 32 page comic book, by the way, I should say that, you know, because we've got all these awesome um, items here. Oops. And so you get to see, you know, some, um, some options and stuff. So we're not going to have all the, you know, some of the fleshy stuff that we offered on um, Kickstarter because we found that like by doing that it really um, didn't really get, leave us anything to work with afterwards financially and um, so with this um, you know with this printing we're going to be just keeping it to three three covers right three covers mm -hmm. and um, I'm kind of slowly learning my lesson the more covers you have the more people kind of like oh yeah I want that cover oh I want that cover and then in the end they decide I'm just gonna go with digital too many options it's like the whole, uh, you know, excuse me for the sniffles. I just woke up and like a, my whole room was cold, even though it's sunny outside. So excuse me for that. Uh, apologies. And so um, it's it's middle of winter here. or It's late winter now, I think. It's July, so it's kind of on its way out. Uh, but still, you know, um, 
I try not to use the heater too much because again, the air gets dry and then kind of affects my speaking right, which is kind of like even gets worse than now. So thank you for joining me wherever you are. Thank you. I really appreciate you guys for signing in and checking out what we're doing here at um, you know at Plunge Comics and what we're doing down here in New Zealand. You know, as you can see, you know we have this really awesome comic book that uh, I'm passionate about. I started writing this in 2007. Uh, you know, I did it for as a gift to my niece and ended up now as a printed comic book with a Kickstarter version of it, right? Now we want to offer you the, you know, on Indiegogo, the Indiegogo version of it. So it's like, it's got a brand new cover and it's going to have, um, you know, a whole bunch of um, changes to the interiors because um, not a whole bunch, like not the art or anything like that or the comic itself, but it changes to like, say the back pages, they're updating, you know, uh, the items like this here, um, you know, on the latest page just to give everybody an update on what we're doing. Also, you know, the other projects we're working on, as well as what we try to do, and we hope to do in the future, right? With these, um, with these um, chibi, you know, with these chibi style, uh, you know, uh, incredible little standees, you know, whatever you want to call it, statues. Um, not standees, standees are like just, you know, flat friggin things that stand up with poster images which i actually have of her right so um yeah so the option here is like what do we you know do we um because i have some amazing uh artwork from the you know from the previous run that we didn't offer as you know as covers so that is the option here and so the other thing is, is as you can see you know this is beautiful this is friggin beautiful um um comic book man like seriously this is a really 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 gorgeous let me just give it a really big you know bring it larger back up there you know uh, there's some amazing you know uh skills are showcased here and i just thought like you know um because we we're waiting on a, uh, you know a whole bunch of stuff to get it out onto our store and i'm like okay you know let's just just Put out a digital uh with a different cover and then also then go why not why not go to kicks um sorry to indiegogo and say hey guys we are a comic book company we are a comic book studio we are out here we've been working on for ages now we finally got out you know like our um our figurehead character right and critical uh ready to you know to show you guys over at indiegogo as well you know, um, that more people should know who she is, more people should be able to learn about her, read her book, become fans of her because, because this is an all ages comic book, right? And everybody is going, oh, we don't have comics books for kids. And I'm like, I do. I, I'm, I've got a comic book for kids, right? And so why not, like, since people don't know enough about her because by the time we actually, excuse me, uh, but I heard the wrong freaking thing. You know, by the time we, you know, by the time we came to do this last year, nobody really knew who we were and nobody knew about the character because all we were doing was busy for the last couple of years just working on the comic book, not thinking about, hey, you know what we should do is um, work on a, on a YouTube channel to let people know what we're doing. And so that kind of like um, didn't really do us any service, right? And um, it was a disservice to us as creators and to my artists and my colorists to say, oh, shit, I should have, like, um, spent more time um, out there promoting this. And so this is why I'm doing this now, right, saying, hey, listen, we are out. We have been around here doing comics. We are doing comics. We have so many comics to offer that are coming up. Like, well, you know, we've changed to our Robot Nation on Kickstarter is going to be changed to less lesser covers because of the same option. The more option... Um, you know, you give to people the less, uh, the more confused they get, as one of my friends just said earlier, mm -hmm. right, uh, who's actually a printer here in New Zealand. And um, and, he, and he said, look, the more options uh, you give, it's the more people get confused and they don't know what to get. And I'm like, okay, well, um, that's why I'm going to do three covers this time. And that's why we're going to go to Robot Nation and do, um, you know, do, do eight covers and that's it. Uh, and so, like, because we have, on that reason, the reason we do it for that one, because, we do three different languages on that one. You know, we do English, uh, Portuguese, and uh, Spanish. So 
that's three covers already all right and so if we offer two uh you know um say two variants and then we offer another two um uh, you know like two others as specials like a foil and chrome then you've got you know basically got nine covers oh, or like eight covers or something uh or is that seven nine i think eight or nine something like that. anyway so um so with this one three covers right and this um never been printed on a comic book cover cover and then also two others i have another one where she's like um three dimensional there's three different images of her on the cover to show you um her, what she looks like you know from all sides and i need to get that cut co covered i colored sorry and then also there's one more option that i'm looking at um and seeing um you know and maybe you know that that's basically it whether we go with three um just normal standard print print run um you know printed comics nothing special like you know like foil or chrome or just go straight with like just you know paper all out just nice glossy paper all out uh with as covers um because i think because of like the like the more you know the more options you give there's more cost factor to this like oh now i gotta print this and there's only one person that's one of that but now there's like i gotta pay whatever the cost of the entire minimum order was and so you know having done this for the last um what 12 months now worked through all this i figured out okay there are things we got to change here you know about how we do this taking uh, you know taking our comic book to um to kickstarter to um you know, to any other platform to promote ourselves uh on now right now also you can basically um you know this is a character here right sorry this side this isn't critical right here so you know this is done by my um by my friend um shane evans and that was done as um um as part of um a cover b for um a throwback like to an older costume she's um you know we over the over the time we basically see you know, 2007 when we, um when i created her um christmas 2007 and so she's gone through several um you know costume changes to be able to get to what she is now like this one i'm just showing you before that this um you know this new costume that she's got that's her you know that's her um, standard costume now so with the red white and blue and um hopefully you know you will support us on indiegogo and that you will you know come to check this out our right now however like i like to let people know try before you buy options right so if you if you are um you know if you want to see well how what's this comic book like the kicks the, the kickstarter version you know i mean what's the quality or whatever uh you know it's like so right now we are offering you know for 2.99 the digital um kickstarter variant right which we did you know so the interiors you know there's people um whose names um you know who supported the kickstarter their names are in there uh some of them who have been uh you know kind of like were drawn in as part of that option you know that of one of the tier reward tiers um so they're drawn in however and you know that there are changes to some of the pages that i mentioned on this going forward um for the indiegogo version and please um you know go go check it out I'll, I'll, um links in the chat and um let us know what you think i mean i would love to hear what, from you guys what you guys think uh, about this and so at the moment i'm still you know i just wanted to announce this but I'll let you guys know that this is what we're going to do this is the you know our kickstarter um you know campaign that we're going to be running and just working out the you know details stories and stuff and what we're going to be offering on that you know like i said only three covers nothing major um because you know it's all about cost here for me right because um uh, if you're following this channel you know that they're you know a, a bit about me by now or if you've been following plunge cast that channel as well so let me know um you know hopefully you guys um are interested in this and spread the word that we are going to um you know we are going to put this on indiegogo and the other thing was that 
people on Indiegogo, like YouTubers who support people on Indiegogo, say, why don't you go to Indiegogo? And I'm like, okay, let's let's try this. All right, let's try this. Let's do let's do three covers. Let's go take our superhero comic there, and let's hopefully you know raise some awareness about this character. And even if like you know nobody buys the print, maybe they'll get the digital, right? So the digital option is there. So thank you. That's all I want to say today. I don't want to take too much of your time, um, and I'm going to go back to work. And wherever you are, like I would say, be well. Uh, take care of yourself and hopefully you have a great day and um, wherever you are you know if you have a loved one close by let them know that you care and that you, you know that they mean they matter to you and um, however you show that that's up to you um, but thank you for tuning in for this short broadcast live stream about my um, character in Credit Girl and our awesome comic book that we're going to be bringing to Indiegogo. Thank you. Bye for now.